Hi, I am Michael Neonov Dice. This is Minecraft. Uh, here, here we is, and by we I mean me, in, ooh, in a an ocean temple, uh, which I'd quite like to clear out and um, make dry. Thanks for that. Uh, I have mining fatigue because uh, Elder Guardians will hit me with mining fatigue from time to time. Uh, because they're really irritating is why. I'm also putting a ladder down because I've now cleared up enough water that in fact I'm um, getting out of here. I can't just float out now. I have to actually climb up if I can actually do that. Mm, yeah. There you go. Uh, da, 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 da. I am going to unleash my signs. Is what I'm going to do. What I need to—I mean, amongst the many things that I need to do, I need to. Uh, uh, can I put a sign there? No. Amongst the many things I need to do. Um, where did that one go? I don't even know where that one went. Oh, that one there. Okay. There we go. That's what I wanted. Now I could do with going. I could. What I should have done actually, I should have started my sign here. What I want to do is I want to make a a, a kind of cascade of. Uh, signs that are holding back the water that um, all hang off one sign. At the moment I've got two, so there's one there and there's one there and all my signs are going to hang off those two in some way so when I finally get bored with signs and I don't want to use them, I want to get one, and I want to get rid of them because they're just getting in the way um, then I can just hit one with an axe and they will all disappear. Well so for example putting a sign on top of another sign like that. And so they'll all just because they they'll all be um hanging off other signs. So the problem is you can't really see what you're doing. I can dry out large amounts of area with that um, sponge, but the problem is that uh, I get hit with mining fatigue, and, and you can see it just takes. You can see how long it just takes. Um, I can just hit, hit, be here whacking um, with my axe forever. So what I could do is I could go in search of. The other two um, Elder Guardians, um, because as so long as I'm in this temple, I, I, at about a minute to go, when this when this whoa, what the fuck? Oh, I, got, I must have been hit from one of the other Guardians. They hit, they send out these zappy beams. You don't necessarily see where they are, and so long as they've got line of sight, they can hit you. But I'm fairly well armoured, so I don't take that much damage, so that's right. So when, um, basically, the, the Elder Guardians, and there, there were three of them, I've killed once, there's now two. When this goes below a minute, uh, they check every minute or so, uh, and say, is there anyone around here that doesn't have mining fatigue, or has mining fatigue that's less than a minute to go, in which case, have mining fatigue. And some digger, so just, so now I've got another five minutes of mining fatigue. So what I think I'm going to do, let's chuck that in the where to put where to put the chest. There we go. Put the water bottle in the chest because I don't need really need a water bottle. I've got a potion of water breathing that lasts me eight minutes. I've got a potion in, of invisibility that will last me three minutes, and I've got a potion of strength and I've got a potion of a splash potion of healing. So what I'm going to do 
is I'm going to take off my armor. I'm going to take my water breathing potion, which then becomes a water potion because I wasn't paying attention. So chuck that in there. Now I'm going to take my potion invisibility. And that just becomes a glass bottle. And then I'm going to go searching. And when I find... Uh, so I'm going to go swimming. I'm going to see if I can find... Uh, come on. See if I can find... An Eld Guardian and kill it. Uh, now they tend to be off in side galleries. Now fortunately a lot of these places are... Lit. By these lanterns. Okay, this is a dead end. So I can see what I'm doing. I should have maybe, um, if I fail here, if I don't, if I don't get one of them here, um, I'm gonna have to head back. And the big problem is getting lost. It's very easy to get lost. So I'm large. I'm gonna leave that largely just as a, as a, as a kind of a signpost. Very easy to get lost in these places. So you get areas like this which are actually really dark. So I could probably have done with a night vision potion. Oh, that's a dead end. Uh, that's a dead end as well. Right, so I've explored this bit. This bit's, this bit's a dead end, okay. So I could have done with a night vision potion. Um... Especially because you get, you get lots of these rooms that are kind of similar. Uh, I don't think I've been in this one, although I've been in a room that's very like this one. As yeah, so I've been in one that was a dead end, and this is a very similar kind of little U-shaped thing with those lights. Uh, but that does lead to another dead end. Whereas the previous one was just dead. And so a night vision potion would have been really handy. So I do need to remember to check every so often how much water breathing I've got left. Because I don't want to drown. Um, now if I'd been clever I would have brought a sign along. Uh, because if I bring a sign along, then I can make emergency air although with the mining fatigue I won't be able to make emergency air and then uh, take it down again so hmm but I do have a couple of potions of milk well you don't really have buckets of milk so I can get rid of the mining fatigue but at the same time I will immediately get rid of uh, right okay so I'm, go I'm running out of invisibility so I might as well put my armor back on uh, the problem with that is that I'm now uh, going to be attacked by these guys and the problem is if you get hit by several of them at once it's a problem oh, you swim away. Okay. Uh, and they swim around and they've got much better mobility than I do I am now officially lost. I've been here before because there's a fish here. And they can hit you from ages. Ow. They can hit from from quite uh, a long distance. So as long as I'm, I keep my food up, I'm largely going to be okay. I also have the um, Splash Potion of Healing for emergencies. You notice that the that they don't even seem to stop the their zappy beam, even when they're being smacked in the face with a sword. Which you would have thought you would have thought that would, that would put them off. Have I? I think I've been here before. I'm going to bring lanterns. Here. That's what I'm going to right. If this fails, and I'm beginning to feel it will do, so I've used up. I think I need to get back. Actually, I think I need to get back. I think that's what I need to do. I need to get back. The 
think is this way. Yes, this way. All right, so that didn't work. Uh, technically, work. yeah, I've got three minutes worth of searching I can do. I went right. Yeah, that was the first one I went through. So, hmm. what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to make myself some. Can I make jackass? I don't know if I've got pumpkins. This looks like a useful. Uh, I need to search from here. Eh, uh, stop shooting me. Right, I'm going to declare that a failure. That's life. That doesn't work. It doesn't always work. That's the way things are sometimes. But so jack o' lanterns. Whoop! Here we go. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a drink of milk. So now I don't have mining fatigue, which means I can put my sponge in the oven and dry it out. Um, in theory, I could do other things. Oh, well, in theory, I could have done other things, but now I can't. Um, I'm going to leave these signs up. I could now possibly take another bucket of milk and then um, do that. The thing about using a bucket of milk to get rid of the mining fatigue is that um, it can depend, they search once a minute. And so it depends where in that minute you are. So if you if you take your, your potion at the wrong time, uh, then what will happen is they'll just hit you again. And so the um, you may only be free for you know seconds what I might also do might build a causeway um, so because swimming is a bit of a pain um, doing it with boats is really annoying because the way boats work there's a dog there I don't think that's my dog there's loads of dogs there why are there loads of dogs there I think someone's been visiting and they've brought their dogs. Yeah, these dogs have all got collars on. Um, you don't have a collar on. No, no, you are. No, you've got a collar on. Um, but you're in the water, which you possibly don't want. Can I fix this? No, okay. Well, I'm sorry, dog, but if you're dumb enough to go swimming, I don't really have that much sympathy for you. Come on, out the water. Out the water. Come on, come on, out the water. There you go. Now, you've got a bit more of an excuse because you actually can't. There you go. Yes. Alright, I'm going to... Well, actually, I'm not going to refill with milk just now. I'll hopefully remember to refill, refill with milk before I head out. Head out again. Um, stars are out, so we're going to have to sleep. I actually probably shouldn't have bothered because I'm about to go into the nether uh, where day and night mean nothing. So I'm going to have my last bucket of milk. So now I don't have mining fatigue. Uh, I'm going to put those back in there and hopefully remember to pick them up. Uh, grab the water bottles. I'm going to grab these clay. Because I'm, I'm heading back home, uh, I'm just going to grab a couple of things that might be useful back home. So there's quite, there was quite a lot of clay around here, so I got that. Anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to get back and we're going to make some jack-o'-lanterns, I think, if I can find some pumpkins. I know pumpkins are a thing that we have. But whether there are any pumpkin seeds about, I don't know. I've got a melon farm. Oh, don't do that. Oh, leave me alone. Do not break my causeway, you horrible beast. Come on. Oh, oh. 
Right, let's get off the causeway. Dogs everywhere, what's going on? Whoa! Come on! How did I not hit hell? Ooh, this is bad. Why am I not hitting you? Ah, why am I burning? This is bad. Let's get in doors. Hmm. This is not going well. Yeah, you and me both, mate. Hitting you. There we go. There we go, at last. Now, it would be quite nice if you dropped a ghast here. Uh, I don't see one. What a mess! What a mess! Oh, is, is that another one? What MS? What MS? Well, that was exciting. Um, so I'm going to have to remake my causeway at some point. I made it in Netherrack. Uh, which obviously has problems in that um, it has no blast tolerance and then the gas comes along and gets destroyed. Uh, I had a plan that involved um, oh heaven's sake this is annoying. I had a plan that involved uh, covering it over. It's just a temporary structure. Whoa, what a mess. Um, especially, specifically covering it over with glass, because covering it over with glass is just pleasing to me. You get the scenery, but the, the gas can't see through glass, which leads me to suspect they actually have infrared vision. Although I may be overthinking these things. Right, here we are, back at spawn. I could really do with at least one pumpkin. What I would like is a lot of pumpkins. Whoop. Right, I'm stealing these pumpkins. Oh, actually no, I'm just going to steal the seeds. Uh, steal the pumpkins. I'll make more pumpkins and put them in. Um, which is acceptable in my opinion. I'll make another melon farm. And I will make more water breathing potions and a night vision potion. Wizard Town made by John. It's very pretty. I never make pretty things. I'm really bad at making pretty things. I think that's a really nicely made tower. Really pretty. Uh, I make holes in the ground. That's what I make. In fact, I didn't even I didn't make this hole in the ground. This this was a pre-provided hole in the ground. My addition to this hole in the ground were these torches. So all this bit was this is all made for me. Um, I just literally just extended down here, so I made this. This is my hole, and pretty much my only artistic contribution is to replace any um, andesite, the grey the grey rock. I think actually I think this is andesite. I think I think what I like is the diorite. I like I like replacing the raw diorite with. Um, the polished stuff because it looks nice. Very flagstone kind of area. This is my this is my humble abode. Right, let's cook some. Let's cook all that. Make some make some brick. Uh, chuck those in. My potion thing. Oop, that's not what I want to do. Oh, I did get a ghast here. Sweet. Didn't see it, but I got got a ghast here. Sweet. Um, I have not organized myself at all. Somewhere around here is my 
don't think I've got right. Fortunately, fortunately, I've got my, my vertical farm. Trees. Wheat. Uh, carrots and potatoes. Sugarcane. Uh, dungeon. Melon. And this stuff. Nether wart for doing potions. Um, what I'll do is I'll just replant. I'll take all these and I'll replant them. Uh, so that way I'm I'm not just getting rid of. Because you should always, always replant. The whole point of these these farms is it, it enables you to harvest and then. Uh, replant and then you get more. Do, 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 fill in that row. Uh, oh, that leaves me with 57 of them. Well, I, don't, I don't need 57 of these right now. 57 nether wart. Uh, so I'm not going to fill up the whole thing. Well, maybe I'm going to fill up the whole thing. That can't be right. No, it can't be. So I'm in fact going to get a whole thing. I now have a whole thing. I now have all the nether wart I, I will ever need and more. Um, we will replace some of these melons. Because to be perfectly honest, melons, you don't actually need that many melons in your life. Um, that that huge stack of melons is probably going to keep me forever now. Uh, oh, well, actually, oh yeah, I need to I need to get rid of all these because these are melon stalks. I want to replace these with pumpkin stalks, which are completely different, obviously, not the same at all. All right. They are going to take a little while to grow. Uh, how many more do I need? How many more do I need? One, two. All right. I'm going, to, I'm going to pumpkin seed these. Oh no, I don't need to, I don't need to use that right now. I only need to use a few. One melon slice gives you uh, one pumpkin seed. Uh, one melon gives you mon one melon seed. I'll leave that. So I'm going to have enough there. And that'll be fine. So I'll let that grow. In fact, I'll go and. Um, put bone meal on that in a second. Anyway, that's that. So here I am back in my base. I've got lots of nether wart. I can set up my potion thing here. Um, what do I need? I need. I want a night vision potion. Carrots, because I've got a carrot farm. Uh, I don't know, I'm going to want redstone dust to make it last a long time. I need to make that to a golden carrot by doing that. And I'll also make myself some potions of regeneration because I've got a ghast here. So my little, my little potion setup here is that hopper is connected to that lever and when that when that lever's down that hopper won't drop things into the potion um, brewing stand. So I can set up my brewing as I go nether wart, golden carrot, redstone. I can do that and then it'll all feed in automatically. And over here are bottles of water and they'll they feed automatically through that hopper into there. Um, suddenly realize that switch also stops that hopper from dropping things into the um, oven, but that's alright, I can live with that. Alright, uh, lots of melon seeds which have no use whatsoever because I've, I've got as many, many melons I'm ever going to need. Um, I need to make a, a dedicated potion stuff. Uh, chest, actually. But anyway, I'm going to make some potions. Um, I'm going to go harvest some cows and get some more milk. I'm going to make a night vision potion, which is what I'm in the middle of doing right now, which is here. 
Um, I'm going to make some more water breathing po invisibility potions that last longer than the one I had before. Maybe some more water breathing potions. And then I'm going to continue my. I'm going to make some pumpkins so I can make jack o' lanterns so I can make light. A, so I can see, and also B, that I can mark places that I've been by putting pumpkins everywhere. So that way I know where I've been. Anyway, that is going to be for later. Thanks so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more, come visit Nearly Enough Dice at nearlyenoughdice.com. We're also on Facebook and Twitter. Uh, links to everything is in the video description on YouTube. And until next time, dig for victory.